what's up you guys this is the start of a very exciting video my apartment hunting journey <laughs> I've been looking forward to this for so long now. I'm so excited to share this whole journey with you. But if you're new, if you've never watched me before, what's up? My name is Christy. Subscribe if you're not already because I'm gonna be posting a lot of content around New York City, looking for apartments, possibly moving, etc. So it's gonna be great. Yeah, I live in New York City. I've been in Brooklyn at this apartment for a year and a half and I definitely think I'm ready to like move on a little bit. I'll link this apartment tour down below because I'm not gonna show you the apartment in this video. Here's the basics. If you don't know, I live in Brooklyn. I want to move a little closer in. Actually, I really like my area and my neighborhood, but I want to live in like a bigger building with some amenities and stuff. And all of those are kind of more downtown, closer to Manhattan and not necessarily where I live now. So I'm gonna be moving not that far from here, just within a couple miles, but still in Brooklyn, I think. And I already have, I've been doing a bunch of research. I've been narrowing down buildings, doing, you know, my crossing off of boxes and what I want and everything like that. And I've narrowed it down to, I think, four buildings that I'm gonna be looking at in this video. So because of the entire situation right now, obviously it's 2021 and we are still in a raging pandemic and a lot of things in the city aren't the same. There's not a lot of things that are open to the same capacity and I don't necessarily want to be going out and about nearly as much. When I moved into this apartment, this is a very small studio. I don't even know exactly the square footage. I tried measuring it once myself and I think it's probably like 300, I don't know. But it's just a little crammed when you're home all the time, when you're working from home, when you don't really have an outdoor space or anywhere else to go. So in this next apartment, what I'm looking for is I definitely want to have a building that has like a gym and a rooftop. What's really important to me is being able to like go outside in my building and have a space that's a little calm and like a view and just something that feels a little more like a community within the building since I can't exactly have that full feeling in the city necessarily and i definitely think i'm going to be spending a little bit more this time than i am on this apartment but i'm willing to spend a little more because there's so much more out there for your money right now different apartments everywhere are offering more concessions and deals for people looking to rent them so for example i think most of the places i'm looking at are giving you like three two months free in your lease so it actually turns out to be a lot more affordable than it would normally so that is why i'm looking to do this now because otherwise i probably would not pay that much for a small studio in a building whenever i see people do these videos i know it can come across as kind of like entitled or picky just because you are hearing what people want in their personal so just keep that in mind that this is just me and um yeah i don't know what else to say i just don't want anyone to come across as like oh my god she's like so high maintenance because i want certain things huge windows that's really important to me is having like a cool view and just feeling that i think it makes it feel so much bigger and the light and everything that's really important to me i really like the ambiance and atmosphere if it's on a higher floor that would be great because i would like to have less road noise you know with what i do with YouTube and podcasting and things, it's really important to have a better insulated sound if possible, which, you know, New York City, it's like, well, you gotta take what you can get. I'd love for it to be a little bigger than this place, which honestly, I think every place is a little bigger than this place, so it's not too much of a concern. Some of the places I'm looking at have washer dryer in unit, which is literally a dream I never thought I would achieve in New York, but here we are in a renter's market. But that's not like a must have for me. That would be nice, but also I don't mind going down the hallway to a washer, like big deal. Some of them have dishwashers, which again would be iconic, but not necessary. It would be so nice to have a garbage disposal. I know that's just like a small thing, but it's made the biggest difference. And yeah, mostly I'm really focused on the building, rooftop access with pretty views of the city if I just want to like escape my room since I'm gonna be there all the time for the foreseeable future. And having a gym with COVID precautions and everything would be ideal for me. So I will show you guys the four buildings that I'm looking at in this video. They're all pretty close together and good train access, which is great. I'm kind of just looking in the downtown Brooklyn slash Fort Greene 
vicinity so if you're familiar with brooklyn that's where it is and i really want to stay in brooklyn because i just love the atmosphere and being able to kind of get out of the city but also it's just so easy jump on the train to get into the city too yeah that's pretty much i think the groundwork i wanted to lay before we look at these apartments hope you guys are excited to come on this journey and let's go see the first place but I'm going into the first building and I'll probably just be filming on my phone. On the door you said? Oh, I see the cabinet. Yeah. Yeah, that is nice. Plus how this mirror is so wide in the bathroom is really good too. And it's central air, it looks like. Yeah, heat and AC, so heat will be included in the winter. Okay. Um, control that year round. Um, water is also included and cooking gas. Nice. And then this closet, there's also one by the door, right? There's two more. Two more, okay. Awesome. Love that. Oh, cool. Outlets. It's good. So these are both closets then? Yep. Okay, nice. It's good. Plenty of storage. Awesome. They also do dry cleaning and alterations. That is nice. Yeah, um, socks. Just so you know. Oh, that is nice. I like the under cabinet lighting. That is yeah, nice. Yeah, it's very helpful. And the black is actually helpful with stains. Kind of a drawer under there. Okay, cool. Ice maker. Oh, nice. Plenty of cabinets. The Williamsburg Bridge, it looks like. Yeah. Nice. I'll show you the Oh yeah, I would love to see that. Okay. Oh, this is nice. A whole extra room. Just left the first building. Um, I think I got a lot of footage of it, so hopefully it was half decent. But I really like that one. That was like one that I really wasn't that interested in. I almost didn't tour it, um, but it seems a lot better than I thought. So obviously it's good to see them in person. It had a dishwasher. It didn't have a washer dryer in unit, which like really is not a big deal to me, but I'm just saying that because I know the other ones I'm looking at do. So that's a difference. But recap first impression. Really impressed with it. Yeah, good views, big windows, a uh, good amount of space. Kitchen was nice, three closets, so good things. I have about 20 minutes till my next viewing. It's just around the corner, so I'm just gonna hang out until then. Okay, the bathroom has a lot of space. It's good. Yeah. Cool. I like the big windows. Yeah, so you're gonna get that in the other house as well. Nice. Different views, and that's the same thing for the Okay. 
I like that the kitchen has windows too. Do all the units have dishwashers? Cool. And what about washer dryer? Would I find that in the other ones too, or does it vary? Okay. building it was a much quicker tour um that one's a little different it's kind of tricky because the unit i saw has already been rented even though it's empty someone's like in the process of renting it and so she said there's a couple more studios like there's no other studios open right now but they'll come up at the end of the month so i couldn't see them yet but she's gonna send me pictures of them so basically i was kind of touring to get a sense of the building finishes amenities things and it was really nice. I think I like the first place better. But we'll see what the floor plans and pictures look like of the ones she sent me. And I'd rather move in before the end of the month. It's definitely not my number one at this point, but I still liked it, so. All right, folks, day two of apartment tours. I am very excited about the ones I'm seeing today, um, especially the first one. So I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much, but we shall see. So I'm off grab the train we'll see how this goes and i will debrief after we see them guys i'm off to the first building the one that i was like really excited about and now i'm nervous because i don't know if you can hear this but there is like multiple construction sites right around here it is so loud but we'll see in the actual unit if it's up high enough like do you hear And this has washer dryer, right? It does, yeah. Oh, perfect. Do you know how many square feet this one is? Yeah, this is 461. Okay. Good closet space. When was this building built? 2017. Oh, wow. I was going to say, everything looks really new. The amenities yeah. and everything. Okay, you guys, um, that was actually much better than I thought with the like construction and everything because they had a variety of units. I looked at four different ones. I thought I was just look going to look at one that was gonna be like close to the construction. Um, but yeah, I got footage from, I think all of them. I'm not sure if I got one that I wasn't that interested in, but I got a good sense of it. And I really, really liked there's one unit, the first one I went into, where it was like facing North Manhattan and it was high up, no sound problems. I'm feeling good about that one. Now I'm going to my last showing and yeah, we will see 
how it goes. Yeah, I love all the big windows, it's really nice. Do you know what the square footage on this one is? Yeah, this is 505 square feet. Okay. And so, with all the concessions that we're offering right now, they're by move in February 28th. So, I think the month is fine, just keep that in mind. Cool. And then what utilities are included versus paid? Yeah, the ceilings make a big difference. The walk-in closet is nice. little dishwasher. And the square footage on this one's a little smaller, you said? Yeah, so the last one is 507, this one is 452. 452, okay. The closet is amazing though. <laughs> Bathroom. Very cool. Use the space for that. Nice. There's the terrace. Cool. Okay, you guys, I am back now for my apartment tours and I feel like indecisive, <laughs> like I have no idea right now while I'm recording this which one I'm going to pick. So I'm going to go back in and kind of like touch up my spreadsheet that I was using to do research, fill in missing info that I learned on the tours and make notes about specific units, especially because like I said, they showed me other units that I didn't know were available from the website. So I'm gonna add in some stuff about those ones. So I don't think I'm gonna have a decision for you in this video. I think I'm just gonna upload it with me looking at them and the videos of the tours themselves, but I'll do just a little recap sitting down and comparing the four of them right now. So I'll probably just do a couple clips just to revisit. So the first building I went to was the one that I was like, eh, I don't really need to see this. I don't think I'm gonna move there. Um, but I decided to tour it just in case and I ended up really, really liking it. I got like one of the best vibes from it, just like the building and the people and stuff. They had the floor to ceiling windows. It was a decent size. The kitchen was the one in the hallway. There was like three closets, I think which was nice, but the only thing is they didn't have a washer dryer in the unit, which isn't a deal breaker for me at all, but when I'm comparing it to the other ones I looked at, the other ones did have that. And they're offering 3.5 months free, and you can pay the net every month. And then the second building I looked at, I am, I don't have any conclusive decisions, but I am kind of ruling that one out a little bit just because um, they're not available till February 5th, and I wanna move in before that. And the ones that I saw, I just like wasn't obsessed with it. The one that I saw isn't the same layout of the ones that are coming available in a couple weeks. So I'm not sure, I have to double check. They're both two months free, but the net rent, like the gross is already lower than a lot of the ones I was looking at. So the net rent is, is like $150 cheaper than kind of like the main middle of the road uh, average of the ones that I've been looking at. So that is good. And if I apply by Sunday, free amenities. For the whole lease which is nice because that's the thing too it's like you're paying for the building but then you have to pay a lot of places amenity fees on top of that so i didn't mention that i think the first building was 50 dollars in amenities a month so then on to the first one i saw today that was the one where i saw like four different units and they were all very different what is this 
Oh, the ring light is like casting a shadow on my shirt. It looks like a target. First of all, I was worried about the sound. I didn't notice any sound. It was very quiet, at least the ones that we went to on the higher floors. So the first one that I showed you guys was one that I saw online that I really fell in love with. I really like it. It's a beautiful view. You can see Manhattan from it, which I did not expect to find. This building, the amenities are pricier. It's $80 a month. But she said the first three months are free right now. So I wouldn't have to pay amenities for the first three months. The first one, the net rent is like a little on the higher end of what I was hoping. But honestly, I really, really like the building and the amenities and the rooftop, which is something that was really important to me. It was all super COVID safe. They have like an app where you can reserve time at the gym. I just had a good feeling about it and I really liked the vibe. So I really like the first unit. That was one where it was kind of like an open, it was called an alcove just because there's a little corner, but it was mostly an open studio, floor to ceiling windows, washer dryer, dishwasher. The kitchens were so nice in this place. This building was built like in the last few years. So everything's really new. And then the next two that I saw, wow, this Target thing is really bad with the sun coming out, isn't it? Um, the next two that I saw were a little out of my price range, honestly. They were more than I was hoping. First of all, the second one was a little too low to the ground. It was on the 11th floor, so then it was like across from the construction, so I didn't really want to be close to that. I'm trying to think about the third one we went to. It didn't leave much of an impression. Oh yeah, I was facing the construction site, but it was higher over it i posted a picture or i posted a little video on my instagram that's right this one was the kitchen was flat against the wall and then it went kind of around a corner um which was nice but it's just too expensive for me tbh but i wasn't like in love with it so it's okay and then the last one i went to was down a little lower 14th floor and it was one on the corner where the whole wall was windows and it went around the corner which i really really like and i saw that online except the one i saw online they were floor to ceiling which would be even better um and these ones weren't all the way to the floor these were on a different it's a different unit than they posted it's just a little smaller because it's kind of like an l shape because the kitchen is what you walk through first before the room and i honestly kind of like it because it separates it and i could put like my kitchen table across there was room enough across from the kitchen itself by the window to have like a little dining table so then i wouldn't have to have that in the main room so i really really like that one and it was like a little cheaper which was good because it was closer to the ground even the 14th floor you could still hear the street and it was on the side of the construction so as much as i like that unit i just don't think it would be worth it because i really want to get to somewhere that's more soundproof but i really liked it but they don't have that style higher up so okay and then the last building that i saw the ones i first stepped into in this building and it hadn't it was just vacated and they hadn't cleaned it so you might notice in the videos there's like stuff on the ground and the washer and dryer was all like mixed up and i don't know oh yeah like the blinds were all messed up but yeah i didn't love the first unit i saw it was kind of like you go around the corner there's a couple closets and then the kitchen is along the side but that was definitely the most affordable of like all the units that i saw so this building i was a little bit confused because on their website it was listed like the gross and the net prices were like kind of interchanged in different places so it wasn't clear which was the gross and which was and like they didn't list the net so it was just a little bit strange but i learned which made sense that this building is just more if affordable so the price that they listed online is actually the gross so but they're only doing two months for instead of three so the net it's still lower than the other buildings, but it's just not like crazy lower than the gross. The second unit I actually was really impressed with. I was not expecting to like it, especially after the first one that I saw. And this one was like high ceilings. It made it seem so much bigger. And then the kitchen was on the side and it had like a little nook next to the kitchen. I don't even know what I would put there, but maybe that my mirror could go there. And this one had a big walk-in closet, which is pretty great. And I don't know, I just, I got good vibes from this unit. Like I really liked it. Um, and it was more affordable than other units I've seen. The last one, I actually really, really liked too, seeing it in person. And that was one that I'd kind of written off seeing it online because it looked small and in person, like it was actually quite spacious. And again, ceilings, um, huge windows right next to the kitchen. 
and this one like one of the things i was kind of put off by was that it was just a big wall on the side instead of more windows but it didn't like bother me in person because it was so wide there was plenty of space in that room uh, washer dryer still dishwasher the rent was on the lower end of the ones i'm looking at and it had a huge walk-in closet, like the biggest one I've seen. And I never thought I could have a walk-in closet. The amenities are usually $50 a month, she said, but they completely waived the amenities for the entire lease right now, which is really good. And it's already better prices, but the only thing is that they don't have a rooftop. This makes me sound so annoying. I hate myself. But that's like one big reason that I want to move to a building is to have a rooftop and views of Manhattan and have an outdoor space. Like what's the point of building a tall building if you can't go to the roof, you know? That's my philosophy. <laughs> but they have a gym and there's like an outdoor terrace outside the gym. I didn't have like the best first impression of this building, especially the first unit I saw and I was like, eh, I don't know. And I don't love the immediate area around this one but the two other units that i really liked like the walk-in closets the better prices there is a gym and i don't have to pay for amenities i don't know so i would love to hear from you after watching this and comparing the four different buildings or the four different well yeah buildings and units within them comment down below first of all which building you like the best and I probably didn't even explain like all of their different deals. There's just so many different moving parts too. There's a lot of trade-offs with all the concessions going on right now. Keep watching, subscribe if you're not ready because I'm gonna be uploading vlogs of my process. Next, I'm gonna be, you know, applying and I'll let you know when I pick one and setting a move-in date and packing up my stuff and everything. I'm so indecisive. So I'm gonna update my spreadsheet reevaluate, revisit some of the Yelp reviews that I was reading now that I've been there and I can compare my experience of just touring, um, whatever applies. And then we'll go from there. Um, <laughs> I'm super excited about this though. It was so much fun looking at all these different apartments and seeing what's out there. Yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys what you thought in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next vlog when I perhaps reveal which one I choose. I'm applying to what the process is like. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.